Hey, how you doing? We're going to do a real quick one today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to tag a two-dimensional line, okay? Which, of course, you can't do, so I'm going to show you a way to do it. Okay, so quickly, in case anybody watching doesn't know how to create their own line style, we do that by going to the Manage tab and Additional Settings, drop down, Line Styles, and click on New. Let's say we'll do a maybe a orange dashed thickness 3 or something, right? So orange dash 3. Okay, then I need to change the weight here to three and the color to orange. Okay, all right, and solid, we change that to dash. All right, so orange dash three, weight three, color orange, dashed, and okay. Now we draw that line, we go into the annotate tab and detail line and find that line style in our list. It was orange three, there we go. Dash, okay. On the in thickness, so you can see that clearer. Now, I can't do anything with that, okay? So, if I go to annotate and uh, multi category tag, let's say, it's not it's not finding it, okay? So, a solution for that. Uh, because you may find that you use the same line styles over and over, and that's why you have them in your list. You could have a DPC or a, a DPM or a radon membrane or whatever, right? So, you're going to use the same line types over and over again. So, it's worth having a loadable family to do it. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a loadable family, okay? which we can tag. So file, new family, and we're gonna do metric detail item uh, line-based. You might have guessed that one, and open. Now we're gonna to have to create that line in here as well. Uh, you do it slightly differently though in the family uh, creating environment, okay? So you do that in the manage tab and object styles this time, okay? So manage object, object styles, and new, and what did I call it? Orange, doesn't matter what you call it, but orange uh, dash three, okay? So change my weight to three, and my color to the orange color, and solid, I'm gonna change to dash, okay? And okay. So create, in the create tab, I'm gonna create a line, I'm going to select the one I just uh, made, the orange dash three. I'm just going to drop roughly here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, escape, escape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align and lock that line to the reference plane on reference line here, and I'm going to uh, align and lock it to each end, uh, the reference plane each end. Okay, so I'll do the ends first. So align the align tool in your modify tab, align, uh, click on lock. If you're using an older version of Revit, you can lock it after you align it. Okay, so select the line, reference line. A reference plane, sorry, and select the end of your line, and it's locked. Do the same over here, and it's locked. And again, a line, reference plane, and it's locked. Okay, escape, escape. I'll call, let me see, I'll save that as orange dash line, I guess. Uh, detail items. Uh, you have your own system for saving your families, or I recommend you do. Uh, say dashed orange. Line three, okay. Save. I'm gonna load that into the project and close. Okay, and I'll just use it just above there, right? So it's it's ready to go. But I, I, for the sake of it, I'm gonna go and place it from the annotate tab. Component orange dash line three. Find it here, and there we go. It's exactly the same, right? The difference is multi category tag. This is the line in the project. Can't find it, but that's free end. This guy, it finds. Now that's just my own tag for whatever purpose. So if I put the, that's the type comment, I think. Say, uh, orange line. Just, uh, okay. And this is the description below. Uh, great line stuff. All right. And as is obvious, if I create that line again, uh, component, okay, and I annotate multi-category tag, see? So you have that in your project as a, as a recurring object that you use so you can tag it. Now, the limit to this is you can't, you can't curve the lines, you can't put a radius on a, or a chamfer, what do, you, what do you call that, a, a curve on the end of the line? It's, it can only work with straight lines. So it does have a limitation, but I think it's useful, okay? If you like that, 
uh, you know what to do. Click the like and share and say so and pass it on to somebody else who might use it, okay? All right, appreciate it. Thanks.